actually, this guy's coming for me. Straight away. Straight away. Oh, what is that? Maces? Mace shotguns. Might not really work in my favor, but we got 30% more damage, so let's see. Oh, hell. Oh, my God. Poor guy. 30% more damage is nutty. Oh, man. What's up, guys? Zebra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're checking out one of these uh, these meta designs with the gun gunier machine guns. And I know, guys, I know every single video when I use hovers. Stop using hovers, JB. I, I, I can't. Like 80% of the game is hovers. Well, not 80, but a lot of good builds are on hovers. Like, for example, this thing. You, you can make an effect. Like, if the guns have low durability, you gotta make a build like this. Because otherwise, it'll just get shot off. But I do have a second build, which uh, the weapons are not that well protected. So you, you guys will see what I mean. But yeah, we're checking out the Gun Gunnir machine guns. And this is pretty much a... Pr this is a pretty sick build for the uh, machine guns. I believe, yep, they're on the Omomori as well. So that's the thing with low part durability weapons. You, you, you kind of want to put them on the Omomori, man. Because this thing gives them an additional... 300 durability sorta and yep we have the beholder cabin of course for invisibility and we're using one radiator and one cooler just to see um just to see how things work out and also a, a colossus engine of course and to power our build we are using the apollo 4 generator so this is the build we're pretty much using today let's quickly show you guys the list of parts i love this green paint i wish it was like green chrome i wish it was available for everybody this is the list of parts, and I think this build should slap. So yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy. And if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leaving a comment also helps out a ton. And if you do all of that and follow me on Twitch, you can see that's your good deed of the day. Now you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, welcome to the fortress. Got a bunch of activity over here, but I just might go to alpha. We have a bot pushing up. Yep. Oh no, it's uh, a bot and defetch. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I haven't played these things in two weeks and uh, I kind of missed them. I already have one on my account, on my personal account. Uh, let's look up to like avoid getting uh, aggroed by these two bots here. Oops. I'm kind of happy with this perk, you know? It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. I, got, I like it. I like it. We got more over here. Just two more players. I kind of want to do a match where I stay uh, pretty far away, long distance, and do some sniping with this thing. See what it can really do from it. Oh my god, this poor guy. I don't think he has a clue I'm behind him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah this is fun all right guys welcome to the control station 17 so this map is a not really long range map but we do have some long range open areas like that over there oh gosh so i kind of want to see okay no that that is a bot i don't want to face i don't want to do that against a bot because they have god aim so let's uh make the bot forget me a little bit and uh, let's get this bot over here, who is kind of struggling already. Beautiful. Okay, we got another bot over here. We got another player over there, actually. Oh, look at that. Look at that spread. It's super tight. I like it. The thing is, I do overheat a little bit fast. So I'm not sure if I want to run two radiators or just one radiator and one cooler. Because I feel like they overheat quite fast. Oh, I'm missing my shots there. What the hell? There we go. Oh, there we go. We got one. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I should have put a better scope on this thing. Oh, he's using medians. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. We got one other. Oh, God dang it. Oh, what did he... Oh, I thought he exploded. This build has some issues with control. Sometimes when I look left, the build doesn't, like, move left. 
Let me, let me just double check. See, like this? The guns still fire a little bit off. Yeah. But that, that's probably a, that, that bumper there in the front that kind of prevents it from, like, shooting uh, to the right a bit. We could remove it, but yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, two players left. You almost got the cat. Oh, wow. Good shot, dude. <laughs> He used a big ass shell to get a drone. I hope they block the cap. Yep, they are blocking the cap. So let's get this guy a little bit. That was the GG's. I'm uh, I'm gonna put two radiators and see what that does. All right, guys, welcome to Knucklegrad. Let's try to do some long range gameplay again. We have two radiators now. So we uh, are going to be able to fire a bit longer. It doesn't really go that far though. Yeah, it seems like that is a bit too far to like be sniping. Sorry. Let's get this guy. This build's kind of weird with auto uh, mouse steering. It's uh, kind of throwing me off a bit. The second build should be easier to use. There we go. Come on, finish that. God, never mind. Trying to get that ha those hammer falls. There we go. There we go. That's one. Oh, I'm overheated. That's oh, he oh, poor guy. <laughs> Fortune. Oh, rip, rip. Oh, rip, rip, rip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so unfortunate. Message incoming in three, two, one. No message yet. Interesting. Oh, 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 we got some. Uh, what is this? Yep, there we go. There's a message. <laughs> it took five seconds. <laughs> um, That's the bot. The bot's punishers are already sparking. This guy's out of armaments, I believe. Yeah, he is. Let's finish off the bot. Probably the most deadly build out here. Beautiful. Okay, let's go help out over here. Nice, he's on fire. Beautiful. And then last player who is over here. Just SD, man. Here we go. Beautiful. This build's pretty good. It's really good. Really good. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I do think two radiators is the way to go instead of just one of each. All right, guys. Welcome to Nakograd again. We got our second build here. Oh, wow. Holy smoke. Holy smoke. Look at these two bots go. <laughs> look at these two bots go. Now, with this build, we also have only one radiator, unfortunately, but we do have a verter on our cabin, so that should give us uh, more damage if our cabins get shot a bit. I think we'll be fine with one radiator. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, I still like the gun gunners more than the Nathongs machine guns, man. These are just, they feel so much better. The damage is not the same. Like, it's not really there. The Natong deals a lot of damage, but other than that, it feels kind of meh, especially the perk. If this did a little bit more damage, I think it would be an amazing machine gun. Oh, there we go. We got something there. Oh, look at that nice tight spread. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm loving the gun gunners a lot, man. 
probably one of my favorite uh, weapons in the battle pass. Our favorite item in the battle pass. Nice. All right, guys. Welcome to the ship graveyard. We got a bit of a different map, which might be better for us, so we can actually do some sniping. Let's get some target practice on Urunier. Actually, this guy's coming for me, straight away. Straight away. Oh, what is that? Maces? May shotguns might not really work in my favor, but we got 30% more damage. So let's see. Oh, hell. Oh, my God. Poor guy. 30% more damage is nutty. Oh, man. 24% more damage. Uh oh, what's this? Not a shotgun. Oh, Gimpai. Let's, let's teach him a lesson. 25% more damage. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Getting some more damage. There we go. Let's go for the... Oh, he got a one. Don't put me in that feet. Sorry, bro. You made it in the intro. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Let's play in reverse. Oh, no. Ah. You made it in the intro, bro. <laughs> but yeah, that was... Uh, we got ganged. So we're going to try one more with this build because I feel like it has way more potential with the uh, cabin perk active. All right, guys, welcome to the Rock City. We have no Doppler, bruh. Bruh. Okay, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We got incoming here. Let's help out a bit. There we go. We helped out by shooting rockets. Beautiful. We got one assembler. Dude, I feel like this machine gun is really good for like this distance of sniping and stripping off weapons. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a set of these and uh, keep them on my personal account. We're kind of zoomed in because I kind of want like snipe a bit. Uh oh. Okay, okay, that's fine. We got 28% more damage. I'm gonna hide behind this guy. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Not dealing a ton of damage, though, but we might need to get closer. Is there someone here? All right, cool. That's fine. I like how... Oh, shoot. I was going to say, I like how when you uh, first start firing, the spread is so high, you can actually shoot down missiles. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting wrecked here. We got him, though. We got him. Yeah, you, you do want to protect these a little bit. Now that I think about it, I believe these had like 175 durability or something. Yeah, so not the best to leave them exposed like this. Dang, we got slapped. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me check what. Yeah, 173. That's why I forgot about that. So, yeah, these get shot off really quick, but they are epics. I think they're fine the way they are but you do need to protect them so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again if you did enjoy it don't forget to leave, don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and giving me a follow on twitch is also really appreciated i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching have a great day peace out